And joining us now from a studio at Southern California Public Radio is Bob Clunch and Jack Reevely. You may remember Bob and Jack were on our program a while ago when a film about their 50-plus year committed relationship screened in this area. They have, in fact, been together for 55 years now. They met while serving in the Army. Bob was a sergeant, and he was Jack's commanding officer. A romance quickly blossomed. The two decided to confess the relationship to their unit to avoid a court-martial. We've invited them back on the show today to announce some exciting news. After more than half a century together, Bob and Jack have decided to get married. Congratulations and welcome back. <laughs> we don't rush into anything. <laughs> <laughs> you, took, you took your darn time. Yes, well, <laughs> yes indeed. Congratulations. You know, I, I tell you what, Jack, I wanted to start with you because we found right. a clip uh, that we, uh, from a question and answer session when you were going around the country with the, the film, uh, mm -hmm. uh, talking about uh, the film, of course, Bob and Jack's 52-year adventure. Uh, the film was made about your relationship, and you were asked some questions afterward. Well, let's hear what you had to say. How do you feel about gay marriage? Do you think that's the way to go? As far as going to the altar and having a priest marry Bob and I, uh, I would never do this. I, I just, I, I'm too old for that sort of thing. But if somebody <laughs> wants it, I think they should be able to do it. So are you feeling younger now, Jack, or what, what changed your mind? Well, uh, the first thing is that we never thought this would come about. Our mantra has always been, it'll never happen in our lifetime. Now it seems it will happen in our lifetime. So Bob and I talked about it, and we don't want to do the, uh, the, the religious thing, but if we can stand in front of some authority uh, figure and it's legal to do so, we would sign the papers that we are, uh, in effect, married. It's still a little difficult to use that word, but that's what it amounts to, mm -hmm. and we're all for it. I, are you still engaged to me, Bob, at this juncture? Well, I, if you want to call it engaged, <laughs> all right. yes. I, that, that's kind of cozy. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, what was your immediate reaction to the California Supreme Court ruling? I was really quite surprised. You know, we've been waiting more or less for this to happen years and years and years, and really we, we never considered the fact that we would ever be uh, sitting here talking about getting married, of all things, uh, but and uh, I think it's I think it's tremendous, and I'm I'm glad that there are people who are younger than we, and they want very very much to have something other than what they considered being together, and marriage is that, and I I really wish them a lot, and I think it's going to make a lot of difference too, that. Uh, with this type of thing, with this marriage, their relationships are going to be much, much longer lasting. And that, I, I really feel, is terrific. And apparently it had an impact on the people you're living with. You're now in a senior home in California uh, for gays, mostly gays, I guess. And they tell us about their reaction. Well... Or what, they, what their advice to you, I guess. Yes. Uh, this is... Uh, a thing that's uh, very, very new. As a matter of fact, this building that we are in now is the first one in the country. And uh, other uh, cities are following suit. This uh, primarily is for uh, lower income people. And uh, it's a very uh, wonderful, easy way to pay rent because uh, it is considerably less than what we would be paying were we in some other situation. Uh, and uh, it's very comfortable. And uh, I think that eventually we are going to, we gay people are going to have uh, uh, things that are considered almost impossible even a year mm -hmm. ago. And now it's, it's, it's perfect. How do the folks you live with? Go ahead. We've always, Bob and I have always been concerned uh, about the financial aspect of our mm. relationship because when one of us uh, dies, the other partner is by himself, uh, by himself really uh, in more ways than one. And one mm. of those being by himself is a financial so mm -hmm. the marriage thing uh, will take care of that pretty much. 
as far as Social Security, and those were the things that we were concerned about. Uh, right. The fact that we're two men and we love each other, we understand that, but we also uh, worried about the financial uh, aspect of it, and this will take care of that pretty much. You had a committed relationship, but it seems to me, if I hear what you're saying and I hear the tone in your voice, you didn't allow yourself to think about the possibility of marriage, and so you became quite content with the, the committed nature of your relationship and all of the other aspects. What, what happened in that moment when, you, when it occurred to you that, that this could now be a legal union, which you had to at some point have had to have dismissed for all those years just to stay sane, and now you can actually let yourself believe, oh, we can be this too, we can be married. Well, it was so inconceivable to us when we, we first heard uh, on the radio uh, and, and watched on television that the, what the Supreme Court had done here in California. Uh, so it was incomprehensible to us for a few days. And we had, Bob and I had to sit down and talk to each other about it again. Uh, we, it was just inconceivable that this sort of thing could happen in our lifetime. Uh, right. As I think I said a moment ago, yeah. we just lived too damn long and didn't <laughs> think it would come about at all. But. Uh, well, and part of that life, you were both married. You were both married to women at one time. Does no, that I, I, was, I was married before, uh, more yeah. married. Uh, Bob is never married. And, mm. uh, and I have two kids, grown, of course, and right. grandchildren and all that. So this is quite Does a, your experience, your experience in that previous marriage, though, I mean, that uh, enter into your decision to get married here? Do you have to think about that? Uh, that didn't seem to concern me. It was so many years ago that mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. married the first time. Uh, and so that's past history. And uh, I don't think that's a problem for my psyche. I, I don't know. It all hasn't sifted down everything mm -hmm. yet. Perhaps I sh should leave it at that. Do you think it changes things for uh, gay and lesbian couples or for people considering even entering uh, relationships to know that they can get married and all of the implications, at least the, the standard that we hold, that it will be uh, for a lifetime? I think Bob touched on that just briefly a few minutes ago, that if this comes to pass, uh, peop people, uh, gay people, will remain longer in in a marriage situation, we th I think, and and yes, I think so definitely. too. And uh, now it's 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 not that way. It's here today and gone tomorrow. Uh, we lucked out being together 55 years, but I think it will have an impact on the young people now to to stick it stick together. Uh, don't you, Bob? Oh, absolutely. There's uh, this this gives them a a, a lot of meat to take. And uh, it's uh, very important, I think, that a, person, a, a couple has something that they can say, well, this is really great. This is really, it's legal. And mm. it's, it's, a, it's not f a foolish uh, thinking anymore. It's, it's actually there. And we're going to make the best of it. I really feel that's the way that everybody's going to turn out to a certain extent. Yet, have you decided what to do, or are you fighting about that? Well, <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not sewing wedding veil, uh, veils and things like that. Yeah. No, we would like to have uh, a dignified uh, civil ceremony out of it, not not a church ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh, I might mention uh, that Bob and I both are uh, former Catholics, and that dies hard in a person, and to to stand at the altar and do this, neither he nor I could do it. I do want to mention, since we're talking about what we're going to do and how gay it's going to be, we are going to, they have offered us the hall where we are living now. That's true. It's quite a lovely place. And all of the people who live there, of course, most of them are gay. There have to be some others uh, because they couldn't have the whole thing legally to uh, to just have gay people. But uh, we are going to have uh, quite a situation there where uh, naturally we will have the, uh, uh, the thing blessed and all of that. But uh, it's, it's going to be fun and it's going to be a delight and uh, we are going to have a tremendous amount of press that's going to be involved 
uh, at our new uh, living station, and so uh, and it one will of, be solemn and dignified. And one of and one of those persons with the camera is going to be here. He's our partner who is uh, responsible for bringing up this whole situation with Bob and Jack, and uh, we love the guy for him for it, and uh, he's going to be there with his camera, just as he has now, taking a little picture of us as we go along. All right, well, congratulations and best of luck to both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.